Hello everybody and welcome in a new tutorial. Today we will take a look on how to create this kind of packages, product packages. I've been experimenting with them uh, lately and I've done a bunch of them. As you can see here in the pictures, I've created many uh, styles and many uh, scenes. So today we'll have a look specially on this uh, render right here, this package. We will have a look on the modeling part, giving it materials and lighting of course, which is the most important part of this, uh, of this kind of render because the modeling it's pretty much easy as you can guess here. So as always, you can find the source file for this tutorial in the link in the description. So you can go and grab it and have fun with it. So let's start with the tutorial. So let's open a uh, new file, new Blender file. And delete everything in this scene. Before starting, it's a good idea to have a reference image just to stay uh, focused and don't deviate from the basic shape. You can find a lot of reference images out there in the internet on Pinterest. It's very inspiring stuff. You would find many good things to work to work with and to have them as reference images. For me, I've uh, put my last my la last render as a reference image. So. The next thing is to have the base mesh, which, which as you can see here, the closest shape for the uh, for the bottle is the cylinder. I've added a uh, subdivision surface modifier, and uh, I've increased the number of subdivisions. As you can see here, the shape is a bit weird for now, but when we add some. Uh, loop cuts and some support loops we will start having the shape that we want that we want and for now it's just a matter of scaling up and extruding I think that uh, will just uh, increase the speed of the video at this point so just try to have the basic shape or shape which is close to the reference image and this by scaling down the vertices and tweaking them. Using also Alt Z is a good uh, good tip to see uh, your mesh in X-ray mode. You can also add many details to your mesh using loop cuts. They are really useful with subdivisions. Just extrude in and out to have some good details that you will uh, work with later. So just play around with the vertices and try to get the the shape that is close to the to your reference image. Try to add edge loops, support edge loops to have tight edges, and uh, don't forget also to shade smooth your uh, your overall shape because it may some some faces may still appear on your uh, on your mesh so. Smoothing, smoothing it will help to have a good shape and the uh, subdivision surface modifier may cause sometimes some issues on your bottom edges and upper edges so use the inset tool to have a, a better shape in the uh, in those faces the next thing we're gonna model is the backdrop it really helps to uh, focus the lights on our model. It's really easy to create just add in plane and extrude one of the edges Bevel that edge and here you go. You have your backdrop and also smooth it now that we are done with the uh, the Backdrop and our bottle we can start lighting our scene. I've used an HDRI image from hdrihaven.com You can find it in the link in the description to apply it, you can use the shader editor or use the wall tab here in the right side. So you just select environment texture and browse into your uh, texture, uh, your environment image or HDRI image. Select it and you will have it 
applied on your uh, world. It's basically a natural uh, lighting, lighting uh, technique. But we will not only use the HDRI, we will use some extra lightings to have better uh, control over our uh, over the lighting of our scene. So before proceeding with lights, I would like to start adding some materials to see how it's reflecting with the HDRI. First thing is adding an, a principal BSDF to the bottle and set it to a light green. After that, we will uh, try to give a metallic look to the uh, to the plug of the bottle. So we add a new material and try to select the upper face and click on Control Plus to extend the the selection till we have the the plug selected and we assign the uh, the new material and try to tweak the the uh, parameter and settings on the. Uh, the principal BSDF increase the metallic amount and try to decrease a bit the roughness to have a more reflections on our uh, plug of the of our bottle. You can play around with the parameters on settings till you have your desired uh, your desired look. And the next thing we're going to do is to try to and create that text over the bottle. There is many ways to do it actually. I just proceeded with the easiest way. You can add images as planes. It's a, a free add-on uh, embedded with Blender. You can just activate it. Have, you can select your uh, desired image that you want added to a plane. And as you can see here, it's applied with the transparency on it. The idea is we will use that material that is applied on the that plane that we have added and use it over uh, over our uh, over our bottle and the way to do it is to try and uh, extract some faces over from the uh, from our bottle and duplicate that face and separate it clicking on P so it will be a separate object. We can delete the subdivision for this new object and as you can see here it says separate object. After that we will go to the material tab and we will find our uh, material that we have used for the image as a plane. We apply it over our new, uh, our new obje object, our new duplicated object and we have the material applied on it and now just start to rotate it and try to make it over the bottle. You can use shrink wrap modifier at this point but I just prefer to do it manually. After that we will try to get the text uh, exactly on the new object and the way to do it is to go to the UV editing a tab and select the plane or the faces of the plane and try to put it over the text exactly so it will be projected on our new object so as you can see here it really looks fine for now so you can see it in the cycles renderer and it's pretty good for now what you can also do is to decrease the roughness to uh, make the bottle more reflective. You can also mess around with other with the other uh, parameters of the principal BSDF, like increasing the sheen and specular, to have a better look for the bottle. Next thing we're gonna do is to duplicate our bottle to have to make. Uh, another one with the with another color what you will do is just go ahead and click on that, that number to have separate object with the same parameters so you will just have to uh, change the base color so that it have the same parameters as the, as the other bottle but with the with a different base color Next we will give some materials for the backdrop, 
and the way to do that is to go to edit mode add in a loop cut using ctrl r and just assign the colors for the two sides of the backdrop it's a very easy process just assigning colors very quickly and and adjust the position of the bars so that it uh, matches the colors next we will add the camera and snap it to, to view using control Alt zero and you can tweak the position of the camera using uh, the fly navigation you can find it click on f3 and uh, search for fly navigation you can use it very easily so try to align the camera so that it's in the center and centering the two colors and the two bottles after that we're gonna add some lights so shift a and add in point lights actually there are many ways to do it i prefer to in this situation to add point lights increase their sizes and their strengths you can use also three point lights uh, technique it's pretty much it's roughly the same you can also play, play around with the uh, the world strength uh, settings in the world tab uh, here I've uh, decreased it so that I will have more control using the lamps I have added also an area light so that the the, the bottom materials will be uh, more reflective I have positioned it uh, facing the puddles and I have increased the power of the, the lamp I think we are pretty much done with uh, everything on the scene so we will go ahead and render this we can activate the, the denoising so we wouldn't have a, a grain on the scene especially for cycles rendering so thank you guys for watching and i hope that you've uh, learned something from this tutorial so see you in the next one inshallah